Yeah, this is just going to be a real quick step into the Jones Zone, guys. This one's going to be about diet, uh, specifically um, regarding the consumption of meat. I've been seeing some anti-carnivore videos in Christian circles saying that it's not good to consume meat because animals are somehow uh, on par with human life and consciousness or something like that. Well, let me inform you that... Um, the Bible does condone the slaughtering and the consumption of meat. I mean, you don't even have to get into the evolutionary aspect of it and all the millions of years and of adaptation and all of that deceptive jargon. No, you don't have to do all that. All you have to do is go to Genesis, verse 28 here, where it says, Then God blessed them. Adam and Eve, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on earth. In 29 here, and God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed, to you it shall be food. Also to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, in which there is life, I have given every green herb for food. And it was so. Okay, now the reason I'm sharing these two verses is to confirm that God gave humans dominion over all the animals and the creeping things. The dominion part is very important. Okay? You have dominion. This means that we're not... We're not equal with them or on par or anything like that, okay? Uh, we are above the animal kingdom. And human beings, we are not. Honestly, I don't think we are animals. Uh, as science would uh, assert that we're animals. Um, so yeah, it's important to understand that uh, humans weren't eating meat in the Garden of Eden. And it's the same thing with the evolutionary... Uh, uh, narrative too you know we're uh, monkeys walking around and you know and all this kind of stuff monkey people uh, uh you know uh, picking fruit and all this kind of stuff whatever but here's a passage that confirms the change to the human diet after the garden of eden okay now this is timothy chapter 4 verses 1 through 5 where it reads now the spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believed and know the truth. For every creature of God is good. Nothing is to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Okay, so there you have it, guys. You can eat meat, but you must use your discernment in these days. Because, you know, obviously we've seen some changes over the years in how these factory farms treat their animals. They feed them GMO grain and they, uh, they treat them with steroids and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, if you're going to eat meat, it's best to go grass-fed, just like it was back in the old days. If anyone says so otherwise... They've been given heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, just like what it says in the Bible, even if they do claim to be Christian. I'm serious. If you're a Christian and you're telling people they can't eat meat, you need to check your spirit and see if you've got spirits floating around in your home or wherever you are and, and just see if they're whispering into your ear, if they're lying and they're telling you what you want to hear because spirits will, they will, uh, they will lie to you. And they, they will, demons will lie and they'll say that they're angels and all this kind of stuff. And that they're good uh, spirits, good familiar spirits and all this kind of stuff. Also, you should probably check and see if you've repented to God uh, for your past sins. And uh, do some prayer and humble yourself before the Lord. Because a lot of the times we think we're blameless. But there's sin that we have, hidden secrets, uh, hidden sins that we have. Uh, somewhere in our past that we haven't repented for yet because of that God is is punishing us uh, for that and and in one in, in some cases it can be allowing spirits uh, 
uh, unclean spirits to torment you, uh, to uh, demonically oppress you. Okay, that's a very real thing. That will happen. And lastly, you have these anti-carnivore people saying that scribes are adding things to the Bible to make it pro-meat consumption. And it's like, okay, if that's the case, then you need to show me a version of the Bible or some manuscript or something like that where the scripture that advocates the consumption of meat is absent from the text. And then you'll have a basis for your argument. But so far, all you have is uh, speculation. So, all right, guys, so that's all I have for you. Enjoy your dinner. Whether that be meat, vegetables, fruits, whatever. Okay? Stay blessed.